So John White here with my friends uh, Kent Smith and Tony Daniels. And we want to bring to you today a, a really amazing and important opportunity that uh, we have before us for people that are part of the Luke 10 mailing list. And uh, this opportunity has to do with a brother by the name of Denis Podrachikov. Took me a couple of years to be able to say his name, but he's a brother that we really love. And we want to tell you a bit about his story and why we're bringing that um, to you. So Tony, I wanna to go to you first of all, and um, I'd like you to share, uh, th this is all in the context of what's happening with Russia and Ukraine. So how does this have to do with with uh, Dennis? What's what's happening with Dennis and his family? Yeah, so when Russia invaded Ukraine, the world put sanctions on Russia. And those sanctions, what most of us don't realize is they're, they're really, while they're trying to help uh, <laughs> stop the war, they're also harming Russian citizens. And so um, in Russia currently, a lot of the grocery stores have no food in them and their citizens cannot even access money um, if they need to. And Russia shut down all international travel so their people cannot even leave the country. So as well as shutting down media. So some, uh, some platforms um, are limited. They can't have the access that they need even to work in, in out, outside of their country online for those, those people who might do that. So given that reality, Dennis is a church planter um, for Luke 10, and he's been church planting in that country for many years now. And uh, we also employed uh, Dennis a few uh, months before any of this happened um, as our uh, equipping director, really, um, part-time because we, we could only do it part-time for now. Um, and so thankfully, he was able to get the very last flight out of his city out of Russia. And so he has uh, taken two suitcases and his family and they have moved um, and they're in transit right now, um, fleeing Russia, uh, trying to get located somewhere um, permanently. And our hope is that eventually, he's not in the US yet. Our hope is that he can get a visa and in, end up here. So we would love to bring him on a religious worker visa to the United States, uh, working with Luke 10, um, if that would be possible, yeah. So Kent, I'd like you to share a little bit about Dennis. You, you have the longest uh, relationship with him, and then we'll come back to Tony to let you know the particular need that we want to bring before you guys. But um, tell us a little bit about Dennis and your relationship with him. Sure. Well, Dennis, Dennis and his family were uh, students here in Abilene, Texas at Abilene Christian University, and he was a student in the Graduate School of Theology when I first met him back in about 2005 or so. Um, but he and his family um, are remarkable people. Dennis is, is uh, brilliant. He's also a lover of God and a lover of people and a greatly passionate advocate for the inbreaking of God's kingdom uh, all over the earth. And he and, and uh, they have been back in Russia for many years now uh, doing that kind of work. But also, as Tony was saying, very linked with Luke 10 and, and uh, helping us to support and equip people and leaders all over the world. So um, just a, uh, a beautiful brother, uh, a person of enormous capacity and skill uh, and intellect um, who just brings so many uh, gifts with him wherever he goes. So we're excited about this, this uh, possibility of partnering even more deeply with, with our friend. All right. So Tony, tell us about the need. What, what, what is it that we need at this point in order to take the next steps with Dennis? So the most crucial need is just five hundred dollars, um, so that we can file the application, um, which is the to get him an, a religious worker visa in the United States. And um, once that's filed, um, if accepted, and he comes to the states, we ha we have to employ him for twenty hours a week at the very least. So that's roughly nineteen hundred dollars a month. And we are looking for people who just feel. Uh, delighted by God to give and be a part of helping Dennis resettle here and, and do the ministry that God has definitely equipped him for. Um, we feel like Luke 10 is at a place where we are going to be experiencing exponential growth at some point soon. We don't know when, but we just feel those birthing pains and Dennis's uh, full-time, part-time to full-time participation. And that would help um, prepare, even help prepare Luke 10 for that next phase of our life as well. So it, it would be a beautiful mix to be able to help Luke 10 and help 
uh, Dennis as he resettles, hopefully, in the United States. So it, it feels to us like really a win-win. Um, it obviously meets, uh, a, a, first of all, a great need in Dennis's life, but, but a great need in, in uh, Luke Ten's life as well. So we, we are asking you guys, if you're watching this video, to listen to Jesus about uh, helping in this situation. Um, basically, we need to raise about $1,900 a month. So it could be a one-time gift that you would like to contribute. Uh, even better, if possible, if there's some sort of an ongoing monthly commitment that you could make, we would really appreciate that. So listen to Jesus, see what he says. We'll give you instructions uh, in this email uh, on specifically uh, how you can take the next step on that. Right. But thank you. We're, we're all praying about this together. Anything else, Tony, you'd like to add? <laughs> and just, just, just to answer the question of, well, if I start giving now, will he get the money now? And the answer is yes. Um, we, because we have already employed him now for um, just a five hours a week, but we can increase that as more donations come in. So while he's in transit in the countries where he's moving around, uh, trying to, to have safety, um, he can still work for us and we can still be able, he can still receive funding. So it is a way to support him even now as well, not just when he gets here. Great. Thank you. Kent, any last word? Just delighted to be in the big journey with all of you who are dreaming about the inbreaking of God's kingdom in this critically important time. Thank you for praying and thank you for joining us in any way the Lord leads. Amen.